All right, so the one coming to the name of Yahweh Basham El Shai, Basham Rakakutash. Uh, double honors unto the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, who taught me the truth and salutes unto the Akim that continue to push the word in truth and in sincerity. Now, um, here you have a, uh, I believe it's Elamites, right? And this Jake has gone um to a meat spot, a butcher's. Um, you know, to get certain man. <clears throat> and pretty much, um, um, in fact, let me just play it, man. And, um, you know, I think of the brother, uh, Caleb in the camp, because, um, he's always mentioning, um, whenever the topic comes up, that these fucking Edomites do this. And lo and behold, it's been caught on camera once yet again <laughs> of them doing this, man. You know? And it's just, it's pure filth, man. Now, um, have a look at this. There you go, right? <laughs> Man was washing his foot in the in the in the rascal sink, fam. What, what the hell's wrong with these people, man? Um, it's crazy, man. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 48, and it says, Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And ye shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. And, um, um you know, <laughs> until your shall returns, man, you know, we're still in slavery, man. Now, we're not in hardcore bondage slavery. You know, we're still physical slaves, but not on a, the brutality of a, a couple of hundred years ago, but very much mentally um, still enslaved, man. Okay. <clears throat> and the curse is uh, still upon us, you know, to certain degrees, man. Now, spiritually, we've been made free. You know, the scripture says, who the son of man sets free is free indeed. You know, but, you know, we're still in the in the system. Hence, we need saving out of it. And lately at the uh, camp, uh, the second camp, you know, <coughs> uh, the midweek camp, lately we've been have a, having a lot of people um, that are, they lie to themselves, you know, that they're free, you know. Like last week Thursday we had a Thursday just gone we had a guy come up right strongest Bayesian accent from Barbados you know and he was bucking up against it and the elder asked him so where are you from he said I'm from the earth who told you we were in slavery who told you that I'm from the earth <laughs> you know the Bayesians man they have like a their, their accent you know very peculiar accent, man. Their type of style is almost like a Scottish person. I'm from the earth. Who told you I was in slavery? Your history's messed up, my friend. I'm from the earth. <laughs> you know, but the scriptures, you, you can't you can't lie to yourself and say, well, 
I didn't go through slavery, I didn't do this and I didn't do that, therefore I'm free. That's a lie, man. A couple of weeks um track back before that with another guy talk about he's off grid, he's not in the system, but he just bought some food from the market around the corner from where we were teaching. And it's like, well, where you get the money then? If you don't use money, where you get the money to buy your goods? And he said family gave it to him. Like Jake like to lie to themselves. You know? It's crazy. But anyhow, this is um back in Deuteronomy me twenty eight and forty eight and it says thou therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst. What black butchers or so called black, you know, or um, Hispanic or um you know, Native American Indian so called, you know, what kind of butchers does our people have, man? You know? And in thirst, like in the hood, you have like a juice man, you know, juice man that ride around on a bike with um like bag juice, like you have that in the hood. That goes back to the islands and and even parts of West Africa, you have the juice man that will roll around and give you some natural fresh squeezed juice, which tastes good. You know, when we used to get them things there, but it's like that can't supply for the whole people. You know, like Benjamin say, the Alawi. <laughs> that can't supply for the Alawi. That can't supply for everyone. You know? And even then, where's the where the juice man that ride around on his bike playing his music, selling juice? Where does he get his products to make the juice from? You know, there's no um so called black outlet store. You have the Moabite outlet store. There's one round the corner from my up from my house. You know. You know, we don't we ain't got that man. So either way, which way you want to look at it, you know, we go to our enemies for the want of all things in hunger and in thirst. And then I'm not gonna go back to the video, but you saw it. Them Elamites there, man, they keep up with all kind of nastiness, man. <clears throat> you know. They like to make out that they're clean people, but they're not, they're filthy, man. Okay. Elamites are amongst one of the filthiest nations out there, man. Right? You know? That's why you go around some of them, they smell off, man. They smell off, like... Like... <laughs> like, just off, man. They're not clean people, man. Not often, but... A few times, many years ago, I've been into even my household, and it's like, yeah, get me out, man. You know? Okay? I'm not a celebrity, but get me the fuck out of here. Like the TV show, because it's just nasty, man. You know? And here it is, they're selling meat. And when you handle meat, you know, you've got to be very clean because it's very easy to, you know, to contaminate meat. And, you know, if it's sold and cooked and, and um, eaten, it can it can give you all kind of, you know, sicknesses. You've got the salmonella, you know, various um, stomach bugs and things like that. You know, but here it is, man washing his foot, his dirty foot in the same sink he's going to put the meat in and wash and he's not going to wash his hands after he's washed his foot. And he's going to go and handle people's meat, you know, that he's going to sell to them. Like, it's crazy, man. It's absolutely crazy. That's why the scripture says we eat our bread defiled. In fact, let me get that. <clears throat> okay. This is, yeah. Ezekiel 4 and 13. And the Lord said, even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whither I will drive them. You know, you got the Gawaiim selling us stuff, you know, because of the curses. We can't, you know, we ain't got anything of our own, you know. But, um, yeah, man, defiled bread, man. That's why you got to pray over your stuff, man. Be, you know, you, you try and, everything junk out here, but you try and get like the higher end junk, <laughs> You know, okay, you know, be selective, you know, when you, when you go to, um, you know, certain spots, man, be careful, you know, you know, you, you wash your stuff, you prepare your stuff when you take it home, but most importantly, you pray over it, man, go kind of nonsense is out here, man, you know, once again, you know, we kind of got into this topic last week at the main camp, but it's like, once again, it proves that it's the Lord, Yahweh, Shem, Yoshai, that sustains us and keeps us alive. Because these foods ain't real, man. These foods go back to witchcraft and illusions. 
right? You know, veggie burger. If I want a beef burger, just give me a fucking beef burger, man. Or piece of beef. I don't want no something that looks like beef, but it's actually plants. Like, that's all illusions which go back to witchcraft. You know, vegan this and that. and It's all witchcraft, man. Right? And the side of witchcraft that is dealt with food is the illusion. Illusions, man. Something that looks like meat, but it's actually fucking... Like cauliflower, like come on, man, you know, it's an illusion, okay. So, these foods ain't real, you know, the GMOs, no nutrients. The all the people that handle it, you have to go to the enemies for it, they're dirty. It all proves that it's the Lord Yahabashi Mirshai that sustains our bodies, man. You know, yeah, we're sick or whatever, you know, sickness and healing comes both from the Lord, but you know, it's not the food that's keeping you going, it's Yahabashi Mirshai. But yes, we need to play that, man, you know. None of that nastiness is going to be going on in the kingdom, man. It's crazy, man. Our, our food's going to be grown and prepared properly, man. And easy that, man. I'm out. Shalom.